Hello YouTube! Welcome to Coding with Dom. I'm Dom and this is me coding game. Today we're going to be doing something different mainly because uh, I wasn't feeling for a, I wasn't feeling like doing a live stream. I didn't know what to do. I um, run out of ideas already. This whole YouTube channel thing seemed like a great idea before I started doing it and now I'm already running out of ideas and I don't know what to do with the channel, and more general with my life, but that's a problem for another day. Um, so yeah, what today we're going to be doing Clash of Code on Coding Game. For those of you that don't know what Coding Game is, I strongly recommend you check it out. It's really fun. Um, it's basically a website where you um, you can code bots and there are lots of contests and chan and little things. It's, it's cool. It's a really cool platform. It has a nice layout and um, and it's uh, you know it's code made gamification meets gamification and you can earn points and there's like leaderboards and stuff. And I've done quite a few of the challenges, the things with the yellow ticks, are the things where I've you know I've worked on a little bit. Um, but what I'm going to be doing today is this clash of code thing, mainly because I can't be bothered to do anything else and it's a very quick 15 minute like code improv kind of thing. Um, and the whole idea behind this clash of code thing, if I haven't done this in ages, so I'm not 100% sure that what I'm saying is true, but it's, um, you have like three different ways in which you can clash. There's like code golfing which basically means solve this problem in as few characters as you can. It's basically uglifying your code, reducing your code to as few characters as possible. Um, then there is reverse engineering, where you see what your program, what your uh, program should output, what the end result is, but you don't know what the problem it's solving is. And then there's pure coding battle via speed. It's like, here's the problem, find a solution in as little time as possible. When you start a clash of code, it picks one of these three modes randomly, and uh, yeah, and then you're just fighting against other people in real time to try and win. Um, as always, I forgot to do the shtick. If you're enjoying these videos, if you enjoy this channel, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. Um, I truly am running out of ideas here so if you have ideas i've been doing you know the night watch videos but i think I, I covered pretty much everything that people was interested in i started doing the godot videos but i wasn't sure where i was going with them uh, i didn't really feel like i had a, a good project in mind but maybe you have an idea for a game and you're not sure how it could be built i don't really have any decent ideas if i have to be honest uh i'm not really an idea guy um, but if you do and you'd like to see someone else try and build it, let me know. Or, or if you have fun just watching an idiot making a fool of himself on coding game, because I'm definitely going to lose most of these and you enjoy doing that, let me know. Just let me know down below in the comments. Uh, I make these videos for you guys as much as I make them for myself. So, uh, let me know what you find entertaining, what you'd like to watch and what you'd like to see more of. Um... I'm just going to sign up for my first clash of code. So you have the fastest, reverse, shortest. Yes, pretty much like I uh, explained. Uh, if you want, if you're out there and you want to join me and you want to, uh, you know, we can fight each other. I don't know if there's anyone actually watching live. There should be like one person. Say hello in the chat if you're there. Um, but yeah, you should be able to join this clash of code with me. Um... What's going to happen is the thing is going to start in three seconds and I'm going to go very silent very quickly because I need to concentrate. Okay, fastest mode. As soon as I can... Input is NMRT, output happy if code boys... Yeah, it's at least N muffins a day. There's a busy lady... The fuck? Yeah, doing this while I'm live streaming was not a good idea <laughs> because I can't talk while I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Okay, Cowboy needs to eat 
and muffins. His mother cooks 14 muffins and ah, still my favorite Okay, so we have total muffins, so cons leftover muffins should be like um, M minus R times T or something. R muffins per hour. He's going to eat them after tea hours. Yeah, I think that's it. So, uh, Dennis, like, is N equal to left over muffins? Then he's happy, otherwise not happy. Let's see. Then you can play test cases to see. Hmm. I don't know whether this is going to work. So there are 23. He wants 23. There are 38 muffins. I'm guessing I'm going to have to math around this. Leftover muffins. 22. Oh, I think it's like that. Let me. Yeah, like the idea of live streaming this was not a good idea, but I think. Second. Second place. Yeah, boy. Did anyone understand this? <laughs> it's like, okay, view code. Let's see if I can. Is there any way in which I can actually explain what I just did? Because I feel like this could be very boring to watch. So the whole idea is that this guy wants to eat N muffins a day. The mum makes M muffin. Let me let me try doing this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So the dude wanted to eat N muffins a day. The mum makes M muffins a day. These muffins go stale at a rate of R, so that many muffins an hour go stale. And he can only start eating them after T hours. So it's basically a problem of figuring out how many muffins are left over after um, this much time has passed and these many muffins go stale each hour. It's a pretty simple problem, but the hard part about these coding games isn't actually... The problems are all usually quite simple. It's the fact that you need to figure this stuff out quickly. And you're fighting against other people while you do it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. But, I'm going to say that this was a bad idea. Because while I'm doing it, I realize that it's not really entertaining to just watch someone be silent. And, well, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't, I'm not sure, but it, I kind of feel a lot very self-conscious about me just, um, yeah, just staying silent and people watching me be silent while I try and figure this out, but maybe it's entertaining. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to do another one just because I find it fun and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, like I said before, if you're watching, I see two people watching right now. Let me know in the in the comments. And also, if you want to join in and you want to try out yourself, uh, the site is codinggame.com. Uh, you can sign up with GitHub and LinkedIn and some other stuff. Um, and once you're on there, I'm Abirani on this thing. It's the same as my Twitter handle. And um, yeah, if you, if you join the Clash of Code, I'm pretty sure there's only one going at any given time. So you should be able to join in. Um, yeah, and see if you can beat me. Whoa. 
the C clash of code. So yeah, this is a bit of a different live stream. It's a bit more chill. It's a bit more relaxed. It's a bit more, you know, how's it going? How's life with you guys? What's uh, oh clash thoughts? Okay, shut up. Shortest mode. Okay, so this is different. This is now you received a message encrypted by taking the first letter of each word and creating an additional word at the beginning of the message from these letters. Write the program to decrypt. Oh, okay. So code golfing, basically, I understand the problem, I think you need to solve the problem, and then you need to strap out everything so that it becomes as few characters as possible. You have a code size right down here in the bottom corner. Um, so basically, from what, from what I understand, what I'm going to have is something like array, which is m dot split um, spaces. And then I'm going to have a uh, const first letters. I'm going to have to change these variable names afterwards, but for now I'm, I'm going to make it so that I can understand, which is going to be a and shift, I think is the way to pull out the first thing. Um, yeah, I think so. And let me just check array and shift JavaScript. No, it's shift, I think. Shift means like the pop mode. Yep, shift. So what I want to do is grab the first thing. Um, and then, oh, this is interesting. I'm going to do const b equals a dot map. And then I'm going to have a phrase. And it's going to be, I'm going to return Yeah, I need the index here. This is a very interesting problem. I'm not sure how I'm going to, it's going to be let me call this F because I'm going to have to shorten it sooner or later. F plus P. Map that. And then it's just going to become join. I'm already shortening it wherever I can. I think it's something like that. Print. I have no idea. Found. Hmm. Oh, no, it's uh, F of I, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I understood the problem. Just to re-explain it, it's I receive an input like this. Basically, I have to split up the first thing, the first word in the input. And the first each character in that word will become the first letter of each word remaining. So if you look at the input and the output, it makes a bit more sense. Now I need to make this as short as possible. So quickest thing and the easiest thing is remove all spaces. So if I remove all spaces like that, that's something I don't need semicolons. So I do need to split, I think I could do something like this and remove the read line. And just call it directly there. Yeah. Okay, any other way I can? Yeah, definitely these can become let's because they take up less space. And also this, 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 every space that I can get rid of, I get rid of, boom, boom, what am I at, 83, so someone's already finished with 562,
but um, yeah, I'm fairly sure I can beat that. I'm at 83 right now, and it looks like it's working. How else can I? Hmm. So if I do read line split and then I map it directly. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to make less characters than these. Oh, I can get rid of these. Um, semicolons. So sometimes I've seen semicolon and like this. It's, I think it's the same thing. I'm at 81 right now. 81. So it's the same thing either I put on a different line or I just remove the semicolon. Um, what else can I do here to make it shorter? Dot split. Shift. I don't think I can actually. So, can I remove these? Would it. Yeah, it's invalid JavaScript if I don't put the. The parentheses. I, I don't think I can make it any shorter. I I'm, I'm think I'm going to leave it at that. And that's going to be my solution. Because I'm going to wait, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to wait to see if there's anyone in the chat that's going to suggest any any improvements to this. So if you're watching, Python 107. So still, I, I'm, I'm still, you know, the people that are actually... Sub oh, shit, Ruby, 55. Because this kind of code golf thing also highly depends on what kind of language you're using. And uh, if you're using, if you're using some languages, you can like Bash usually has some crazy short one-liners. Perl is another one. Um, JavaScript isn't the best language with which to do code golfing, but still, you can do some crazy stuff. Um, it's just that I don't think there's a lot of optimization. Maybe I could optimize the actual algorithm that I'm using to solve this problem but I can't think of anything different to be honest so I think it's just going to stay I'm just going to submit it boom are you sure? yes I'm sure second I mean it's not too bad right we can see what this guy's going to do but second isn't too bad um Yeah, so um, I regret doing this because <laughs> I don't think it's as entertaining as I thought it would be because I think it's mainly you just looking at me, be silent and trying to figure stuff out. So um, I'm going to cut it short and um, I, I will try and think of something else to do. My next live, live streams, something a bit more entertaining slash educative. Um, I started off this channel because I had an idea of, you know, I think I like teaching and I like uh, inspiring others and trying to get others to actually code and and start doing things that I think are interesting and that people might not be doing because they just look hard. Um, and that's what I was trying to do with the Nightwatch videos. I'm, I'm trying to think of something else that I can teach that isn't hasn't already been taught tons and tons of times out there. Um, so I had the idea of doing a Node.js intro to Node.js tutorials and NPM and Yarn. I see a lot of people that usually struggle with that. I'm trying to figure out how NPM works and how Yarn works and stuff. Um, but then again, there's loads of people that have already done that on YouTube. I'd like to explain people how to get closer to open source because I think that's something that um, people find very hard to do when it's I mean it's quite easy but I can think people find it a bit scary but again I've, I've found videos and good videos about people trying to explain that so I don't know I wonder if there's people out there who are interested in a particular topic and would like me to explain it to them because they think maybe I explain things in a decent way or maybe you know you just want to hang out while I code some stuff and you think of a cool project that you'd like to see me try and, and hack away at, 
I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it short. I don't want to drag it on too much. I'm not really feeling it. I mean, it's Easter. There's a really nice sun outside. I'm just going to go drink some beers in the park. Um, so yeah, take care. Thanks for joining me so far. I'll see you next stream. Cheers.